Hey, and welcome back to the channel. And this is the newly released Xiaomi 13 Pro. And spoiler alert, it's becoming one of my favorite cameras for 2023. Let me tell you why. So the Xiaomi 13 Pro was actually announced late last year, but was really only launched in China back in December of 2022. It launched alongside the regular Xiaomi 13, but now it's out globally in Europe and other parts of Asia. And I've actually been testing this phone for the last month and I've shot a ton of photos with this phone. Uh, basically, I took this phone everywhere with me. But before we talk about these cameras on this phone, let's talk about specs. The Xiaomi 13 Pro features a beautiful 6.7 inch OLED display with 120 Hz LTPO panel. It can get up to 1200 nits of brightness or up to 1900 nits with HDR. It features a really reflected and somewhat slippery ceramic back, which looks amazing and looks really premium. However, it is a fingerprint magnet, especially this black one. Now there's also a triple camera setup on the back, one being a 50 megapixel one inch sensor from Sony, which is the Sony IMX989, a 50 megapixel telephoto lens, and a 50 megapixel ultra wide camera, which is also backed by Leica lenses. Now the processor inside the 13 Pro is Qualcomm's latest Snapdragon 8 Gen 2, which is incredibly fast and efficient. It also packs a 4820 milliamp hour battery that can charge the phone up to 120 watts wired or 50 watts wireless. Now my review unit comes with 512 gigs of storage and 12 gigs of RAM. Now there's a lot to like here with the Xiaomi 13 Pro. It has pretty much all of the latest bells and whistles. And the one thing that I wanna emphasize in this review is the camera hardware. I'm so confident with how this thing shoots in everyday conditions that I'm 85% sure I'll end up selling my Sony RX1 R2, which is a camera that I carry almost everywhere with me whenever I travel to take better looking photos than what I can capture on the iPhone. And over the past few weeks of testing the 13 Pro, I really am thinking about selling that camera and bringing this phone with me everywhere instead. We'll save the camera portion in just a little bit and let's talk about the uh, phone's performance and how it handles all the day-to-day -day stuff and how the battery life is uh, after a few weeks of using this phone. So given that the phone is rocking the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 and it has 12 gigs of RAM inside, the phone is incredibly snappy and since I take a lot of photos on this phone, I also loaded up Adobe Lightroom, which is my app of choice to edit photos in. And not once did I see this phone struggle when I'm deep into edits and have multiple masks and layers or adjustments per photo. And exporting photos are incredibly quick as well. The phone will get warm, but not to a point where it gets hot to the touch, but I only really notice it get warm when I've been on Lightroom for a while. And I also notice the same thing would happen if I'm gaming for more than 45 minutes. But it's pretty rare that I'm playing a game on this phone since I primarily use this phone as my photo camera when I go on trips. So for example, in the last few weeks, I've been to London, Frankfurt, Barcelona, and other parts of Spain. And I love shooting with this phone. Now that I've been traveling with this phone for over the last few weeks, close to a month, and since this phone's primarily been my camera for my entire trip, the phone's average screen on time after all the shooting that I've done is about six to six and a half hours of screen on time, which is pretty good for a flagship in 2023. I didn't really expect anything more than this, to be honest, and with the super quick 120 watt wired charging, I can top this off in just 20 minutes every single night and I'll be good to go for the next day. Plus it has wireless charging, which is quite convenient. As for its software, the 13 Pro ships with MIUI 14 out of the box, which is based off of Android 13. And just like the previous version of MIUI, I like it. It's a pretty vanilla Android experience and I love having a snappy and responsive phone. Uh, I also love the fact that I can switch out from that traditional MIUI control center, which mimics the iPhone's control center and replace it back to the traditional Android notification shade. Now, as someone who uses an iPhone every single day, the traditional MIUI notification shade with control center isn't as intuitive as iOS, nor does it look good. So I'm really happy that I can change that in the settings because I remember when I reviewed the 12S Ultra last year, that was one thing that actually annoyed me. But one thing that didn't annoy me are the cameras. And the main thing that most reviewers are probably gonna talk about is how incredible the IMX989 one inch sensor is on this phone paired with the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2. And while it's true, it's a really good shooter, I think the star of the show in my opinion and one that aligns with how I shoot photos on a regular basis is the 50 megapixel 3.2X optical zoom lens that Xiaomi added to this phone. The reason why the 3.2X zoom lens is so special is two things. 
One, the aperture is an f2 lens, so this means you have better low light capabilities compared to the 12s Ultra from last year with that 5x optical zoom. That had an f-stop of 4.1. The second thing that makes this camera so special is the fact that the minimum focusing distance on this 3.2x is almost macro like. The fact that you have a 75 millimeter focal length with such a close focusing distance makes shooting portraits on this phone so much more enjoyable. Pair that with Leica's glass and colors, shooting portraits or photos in general with its focal length makes it so much more enjoyable than other smartphones that I've reviewed recently or about to review in the next few weeks. The one inch camera for everyday shooting looks great, don't get me wrong. I think that the colors and clarity compared to the 12S Ultra looks way better and more balanced than before, but I really think that the 3.2X zoom lens is the best camera on this phone. There's also the 50 megapixel ultra wide, which is also pretty impressive, which matches really well with the other two focal lengths in terms of color. And I think Xiaomi hit the nail on this one when they opted in for a triple 50 megapixel camera versus, you know, opting in to use a 12 or eight megapixel ultra wide and telephoto lens. Now, all of the photos that you've seen so far are all unedited straight from the camera. And I haven't really found the need to put these photos through Lightroom and edit it with my presets. Cause I think out of the camera, the photo looks great and ready for social already. Plus there's something about that Leica watermark that you can add to the photo that makes it a little bit more artistic or cinematic in a way. When it comes to videos though, I think it's okay. Just like the 12S Ultra shooting with that one inch sensor uh, gives your videos a little bit more subject to background separation without having to do some sort of software trick or portrait video. I think the colors are pretty natural with little to no processing or post sharpening. It does have good saturation and contrast levels, but when it comes to Android video quality, I think the S23 Ultra is the best one that I've seen so far. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this review. The Xiaomi 13 Pro is easily the best phone for photographers. And I think this partnership with Leica is a really smart move on Xiaomi's end. And I hope that they continue to innovate and progress in the future. I know that Xiaomi is still planning on releasing a 13 Ultra later this year. And I hope that they can piggyback off of this 13 Pro's camera system and you know, maybe do a little bit more. Now, I actually prefer how the camera module looks on the 12S Ultra with that massive circular module in the middle, but I love the camera hardware on the 13 Pro. I'm just hoping that they don't mess up the optics and remove that 3.2X zoom lens on the upcoming 13 Ultra phone, but add to it instead. So if you're a photographer or wanna take really incredible photos on your phone, but you, know, you don't wanna to spend too much money on a mirrorless and a phone separately, I think the Xiaomi 13 Pro is the way to go. I'm in the US and I've been using this phone on T-Mobile's network and surprisingly, I'm getting 5G coverage when I'm in the city and LTE when I'm at home, which is great. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching and if you did enjoy this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button and yeah, I'll see you all in the next one.